Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Bruce Got Gaming. This boy Sunny, and today we're doing a how to grow your players quickly in FIFA 17. First off, you want to pick a team. I'm just gonna let you guys know now with the team we're picking, which is Borussia Dortmund, by the way. We've actually edited the team a little bit, so I am gonna go to current customize. But for you guys, go to download latest and actually transfer the players to the club you want. But I've put a lot of young players in there for the purposes of the video. We've got Bellerin, we've got Saul, we've got Rashford, loads of young players. But before that, we've got an accept our invite to our pre-season tournament and as you guys know a lot of people go for the one with the most money we'll go for the 10.2 we'll go for the 9.7 but what we're actually gonna do is go for the 8.5 million pounds not because it's the least money but because they've got the worst teams in that preseason tournament so what you want to do is pick a team that actually turns out to be your youngest squad as you can see there we've got Rashford and Sanabria up top we've got Deli Ali we've got Saul we've got Brat on the right we've got Dembele on the right or Brat on the left even Bellerin, Lemos, Ramagnoli and Shaw at the back Donovan in goal all those young players should grow quite a bit you do have to put them in your starting squad to start off with now one of the biggest if not the biggest aspect of growing your players quick what you want to do is pick two players to start off with who do you want to grow the most we're going to go with Sanabria because he's straight away there and we're also going to go with Rashford as a player we want to grow the most as well so what you want to do you want to put two on two of the drills on one of the players and three of the drills on the other player and once they start growing in overall what you want to do is start changing them up a bit so as you can see this is going to be our first one we're going to put hard for everything go ahead and put passing on that hard there we go, so three for Rashford, two for Sanabria. Hopefully it improves their stats. Play the drills if you don't want to simulate them so you get better ratings. As you see, we've got an F there. We wouldn't be getting Fs if we were actually playing the training drills. But as you can see, we've got a game up against Sevilla now in the preseason. We want to play this by simulating the game. You can play it if you guys want to, but we're going to simulate it with that first team out there with all the young players in the squad and on the bench if you want them to improve even more. We're going to skip that game. We draw 1-1, one, one. not bad. It's a preseason tournament. It doesn't really matter but out of that 1-1 one, one, Brat got himself a goal which will improve his stats overall throughout the game we're going to go ahead and put that right back out there with Rashford and Sanabria again press the Y button or the triangle button if you're on PS4 to go ahead and load your previous um, options I think or training drill that you had in the previous drill and we're gonna go ahead and advance okay so this is where you're gonna see the difference we've got a game against independ or independent I'm not sure how you pronounce that club and we're gonna skip the game bang we win 3 0 so Nabria with three goals Brat gets an injury it doesn't matter we'll bring you get say Weigel, Iahanacho, Fossil Mensa, Stones, Guerrero, Berkey we've got a load of young players in the squad if you want to do this me method bring in the young players trust me it's gonna work okay so once again we're gonna go ahead and do training as you you can see Sanabria is on 78, Rashford's on 77, and all of a sudden, bang, 76 even, and Rashford is now a 77 overall player. You can keep him there if you want to keep growing Rashford, but if not, bring in a new player, take out Rashford for those three drills, move it to Sanabria, and then bring in the new player and have two drills with the new player. But what we're actually going to do, we're going to skip all of this, come on. Okay, so we've got another training session. What we're going to do, we're going to put Rashford in, we're going to keep him in there, and we're also going to delete one of the training drills. So there we go, we deleted a training drill for Rashford, now we can bring in a new player, and that's going to be Brat. For the purposes of the video, we're moving straight into the player that goes next to him. But you can move on to any player you want. You can improve a centre-back if you want to improve a centre-back. We're going to keep doing this until these players improve. And then I'll show you guys in a minute how much they improve. Okay, so as you can see, Rashford's now on a 78 overall. He can still improve. So we have left one of his drills in there. We've also brought in a new player now with Romagnoli. What you want to do is keep rotating the players. Keep bringing them into the training sessions. sanabria has gone up now. Bring him down to one training drill. Just like that. You just need to bring them down in training drills. Bring new players in. If you want, bring them back in and keep drilling them. If you want to make them the best player in the world. Drilling them. That probably sounded quite wrong. But what you want to do is take out one of their training drills and bring in a new player. For the purposes of the video, we're going to choose any young player. We're going to just go ahead and choose Bellerin. Let's go ahead and simulate all the way through the season. And I'll show you guys the improvements right at the end of the season. Oh my god. God, another one's going up soon. Rob Magnoli, so close. Okay, so we're at the end of the season. We're going to go straight into our squad report and have a look at our players. And straight away, we can see Donnarumma went up by six overall to an 82 overall. We're going to just go ahead and scroll through all of these players. Bellerin's on an 84 overall within one season. We've also got Lemos and Rob Magnoli teaming up at the back with 82 overall. Great centre backs. They have great young centre backs. Luke Shaw on an 84 overall. Timothy Foster Mensa going up to Dembele going up. Sane, Saul going up by four. Loads of improvements as you can see from the stats I'm showing you guys right now. Deli Ali in the team.
team, loads of great players. Gerse even went up to an 87 overall and he only played six games. That's how well this method works. All you have to do is train the players whilst playing the players. The better they play on the pitch, the more they improve. The better they play in their training, the more they improve. I simulated both. Imagine playing the games, playing the training. You guys could do that. Make sure you do it. It's going to improve your players by a lot of overall. Look at Rashford sitting on 82 overall. Get say going up to 87. He had Nacho on 80. Sanabria on 81. We've got Deli Ali sitting on 83. As well as Scherler, who didn't play any games, but he went up anyway. This is how this method works. Players that don't even play improve by two overall. But as you can see, at the end of the first season, our squad is looking amazing right now. We've got Ian Hanacho and Rashford up top, Ali in the middle, Dembele and Brat on the wings, Saul in the middle. We've got Sean Ramagnoli, Lemos and Bellerin on the, at the back, Donald Romain Gold. And this is probably the youngest, best squad you're going to find out there. Look at that squad for a young squad. Very good. Also, we could bring in Sanabria if you wanted up top as well. And more. Moore's improved by quite a bit as well. I'm sure he's starting on like 64, 63. I don't even know. Renato Sanchez going up from a 78 to a 81. If you want to do this method and get the best out of it, play the training. Play the games. I've only simulated it for the purposes of the video. And even that took me an hour. But playing a career mode, you'll enjoy doing it. Trust me. Go ahead and buy yourself some young players. They're going to be beats. But for now, if you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button down below for that free orgasm. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And it has been me. You guys have been great. And I'm out. Peace.